Nine-year-old Jesse is learning to walk with his new prosthetic leg. It's his first time without crutches since being hit by a truck three years ago. I was able to fetch water before, but when I lost my leg, I couldn't. Uganda has around a quarter of a million child amputees, yet just a dozen specialists in prosthetics. Now a team of Canadian scientists has introduced 3D printing technology, allowing patients to get personalized prosthetics fitted in just one day. In one week, we all think we can work on two patients, that if we are all active, like the brothers, all the other technicians are here, we can take, uh, we can work on two patients. But with 3D technology, we can only, you know, we, the number of, of, of patients worked on increases like uh, maybe 10 per week or 15 per week, depending on their sizes. The first step is to make a 3D scan of the limb, a procedure that takes about 40 seconds, before the 3D printer produces the sockets that's perfectly suited to the patient. The process takes around 16 hours. But when you scan it, you actually have the actual limb, the actual limb. Yet, uh, with the previous uh, way of making limbs, uh, sometimes the, the plaster of Paris expands, you know, or the plaster of, of, of the cast expand, you know, because we put water. So this time around, you have the shape, the middle shape of the, the, the socket, and when it comes to fitting, it fits really nice. A day after the scans, and Jesse is getting used to his new leg. Doctors say this new technology will allow them to help more patients, giving them a chance to return to their normal lives.